as you can see, we're going to talk about the Open Source Music Nexus Challenge, or rather, I'm going to show you what this challenge is and what the results of the challenge were. Um, this challenge is presented by the audio meeting that Niels just told you about. And it's called the Open Source Nexus Challenge. Insert some Vangelis music here. Um, <laughs> what is the challenge? The challenge was to produce a musical track with just using open source software, some exceptions, um, including a real recording, by which I mean uh, something that had moved airwaves, like singing or playing an acoustic instrument or, I don't know, recording your doorbell or something like that. And the piece should be an homage or a pastiche. So you take an existing track or uh, the oeuvre of an a uh, musician and create something that's an homage to that track or musician or sounds like a specific tra track. Um, like I said, uh, the idea of this challenge came up in the open source audio meeting Cologne. Uh, we did a, another challenge already last year that was done, uh, the theme of that one was creating music just with using FM synthesizers, open source FM synthesizers, of course. Um, uh, and the actual doing of <laughs> organizing the challenge and uh, making the website, that was done by me. And I'm Christopher, uh, also known as uh, Strogon14 on IRC. So if you, can, if you want to map actual names to nicknames. So the challenge ran for one month um, and just ended last weekend. So there was one week to vote for the submissions. Voting was open to everyone. Participants who submitted the track had to vote for being eligible to, to win. So this is just a a uh, cheap measure to get actually some votes. Um, <laughs> but of course you can't vote for your own entry. Um, so you actually have to listen to the other tracks. <laughs> um, and the voting works like that, that you uh, give five points to the track you like the most or you think the best, uh, four tracks to the second best one in your opinion and so on uh, until one point. So you have 15 points which you distribute to five tracks. Um, and the result will be that hopefully one track will have the most points, and that's the winner. Uh, if there's a tie, then I have a, a specific rules that uh, uh, you take the most votes with five points into account and then the most votes with four pounds. But the details and that I, uh, was never necessary. Was there a question in the back? No. Okay. <laughs> so... <laughs> Um, I don't do this uh, uh, to promise awesome prizes or anything. I, I just want to pe encourage people uh, to get joy of, out of producing something. But I was lucky enough to uh, find somebody who was willing to sponsor prizes, or rather he found me. Uh, and that was Samuel Aubert, who owns a recording studio in Tübingen, and he offered to do free mastering of some tracks for the winners of the first three places. So, thank you very much, Samuel. <laughs> so, uh, the results. We had eight artists who managed to get in a submission. Um, they are very stylistically diverse, which I'm very happy about. Uh, this was my intention by forcing people to record something, so I wouldn't have another 10 uh, drum and bass tracks. <laughs> um, we had, in the end, uh, 26 people voted for the tracks, which could be more, but 
maybe next year. There always needs to be room for improvement. And uh, the winner had 89 points, and the last two tracks they had 26 points. So, the results. In third place, we have Rainbow Brain by, I think it's a male person, so called Michel, 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 I don't know, Marengon. I hope I didn't butcher that too, too badly, with 68 points. So, um, let's listen to that one. Oh, that's the wrong app. We just listened to a bit. Okay, I think uh, that's enough for the moment. If you want to listen to the full track, please go to the website, which i show afterwards, where you can listen to all eight tracks, download them from uh, archive.org, and uh, this evening I'll put up uh, an archive where you can download all the tracks with a playlist and all the meta information and all that stuff. Oops. Okay. Let's go to the second place, and on second place is Silver by Jeanette C. with 64 points. And again, if you want to listen to the full track, I encourage you to go to the website or to archive.org. Um, and the winner is... First place goes to Another Day by Spotlight Kid. Who's this Spotlight Kid? Now comes the awkward moment. <laughs> So, uh, some of you probably know who Spotlight Kid is, that's me. So, uh, so I don't have to be too schizophrenic. I'd like to invite my collaborator, Julia Kramer, to say a few words. <laughs> uh. I, uh, I actually don't know what to say, uh, just I had a lot of fun with the session. We just 
did one recording session, the track was already like, I don't know, 80% or yeah. somewhat finished. And um, I really enjoyed it. Thank you for inviting me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's listen to it. <laughs> um, thank you. <laughs> um. I think that should suffice as a teaser because I want you to go to the website and listen to all the tracks. <laughs> um, I, I would have liked to show you a bit how, the, how I did the track, but the problem is that the session is so big it wouldn't even run on this puny laptop here. So um, I think I'll, if you have some questions about how uh, I produce the track, I would just could do it in, a, uh, in the questions afterwards. Um, so let's look at the whole results. Uh, these are the points for the eight tracks. Uh, this will go up to the website as well in the evening. Uh, you can see we have two ties here in the end, so rather close field. Um, there's, well, the winners are clear, but they're not too far apart. Um, you can even see which entries got uh, five points how many times and four points how many times. That goes up onto the website this evening as well. So that's it for the results. Um, what, what does the future bring? As I said, the results will go up to the website, so you can check them. You can download the tracks with a playlist. Um, if anybody knows of an opportunity to, sh to showcase the music which was made in this challenge, please let me know. Like, there's a podcast or, a, I don't know, a SoundCloud group or something which that can be posted to. Please let me know. Uh, all the tracks are, by the way, I have a, a Creative Commons license, so you can basically play them everywhere except uh, in a commercial. Um, there will be a new challenge next year. Uh, I haven't decided yet whether it will be in one year or maybe even earlier. If there's anybody out there who's willing to help organize the challenge, I'd be rather happy to, to have that help. Um, also, if you have ideas for next year's challenge or beyond, please let me know. Just write to challengeosamc.de. The email is also on the website. Um, I think I'm thinking about making the theme for next year collaboration, so you have to work with somebody, but um, it's still not decided. Um, I definitely 
have to spread the word about the challenge better. Next year, I was really lazy this time, so mm, my fault. Um, I also want to do some website improvements, like you don't have to sign up with an email address, but can you use your, I don't know, <coughs> Google account or something like that. Um, and if you have any suggestions or uh, feature requests, please do let me know as well. So, see you back for the next challenge next year. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Yes, shall we? Uh, I start. Um, so the um, at least I'm visible. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for int introducing. I think that's very important to have um, the actual music, uh, um, like push the music and and encourage people to make it. So it's uh, yeah, I like that really much. Um, you ask um, ways to promote, and uh, there's this new. Um, not new, but um, yeah, this Linux for Everyone podcast. Mm -hmm. Maybe you've heard about it. Um, isn't that a name, Linux for Everyone? I think, yes. And uh, it gained a, a bit traction in the last month, and they play um, a mu uh, musical pieces each time in each um, episode, and, and they are need to be produced in, in Linux. Songs from the source. So is, isn't that the name? Okay, and um, actually, um, some of our mu our music, like uh, the last FM challenge, and um, even some some Sonoy challenge tracks, are already in there. So, uh, so I've heard. So um, yes, that would be a, um, a good opportunity. And also, uh, I promised the uh, the podcast outro to mention his podcast. <laughs> okay, now question. Um, a, a couple of points. The first thing is that uh, you mentioned SoundCloud groups. They no longer exist. Mm, yeah, so that, that was uh, a slip of the tongue. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, um, uh, archive.org, they do a music section there. So you can set up a group there if you want permanent uh, um, pr presentation. Mm -hmm. And they, if you uh, present them in one field, they, they will automatically... Uh, uh, transfer them to alternate formats as well. So if you you uh, uh, put up a uh, a FLAC file or something like that, they will produce WAVE, MP3, and OG versions of it for you as well. Yeah, all, all the tracks are already on Archive.org. That was a stip oh, stipulation oh, right. of the of okay. the contest that you uploaded it to Archive.org. So uh, the the other thing is the <laughs> fi final point is is this business about uh, letting people know about it. Because, yeah. I mean, until I came here, I had absolutely no idea that this was happening at yeah. all. Yeah, the thing is that the, uh, even though it is small, the, the Libre audio community is a surprisingly, um, what's the word? Uh, it's a bit of a diaspora. Um, I think there's, I don't know, like 10 channels where, on IRC where people talk about uh, uh, making music <laughs> with... with with Linux or other open uh, systems, uh, there is, I don't know, 10, 10 mailing lists. So I tried to announce it to the most important ones, but obviously that reached only, I don't know, a, a small percentage of the people who make music with, with open source. Um, so I try to do better next time, but uh, I need help. So if you see such an announcement, uh, please distribute it without asking. Because it's all about open stuff. Even um, if you know where a track could be featured in a podcast or somewhere, just submit it. It's all creative comments. You don't have to ask me or the authors. It's li nice to let them know, but you don't have to ask them. But thanks for, uh, for your input. Um, certainly there's <laughs> room for improvement in the, in the PR department. More questions? I don't think so. So thanks again and uh, hope to see you next year and uh, I hope you'll produce awesome music as well now in the one hour challenge. <laughs>